Hello! What you see here is the newly released NetBeans IDE 8.2. And what you also see here is the Java shell. This is JShell from the upcoming release of Java, Java 9. So for example, I can type directly in the JShell SOUT and then press tab. And what you see is that I have my system at print line. I don't actually even need a semicolon. I can type here hello, for example, and I press control and enter, which means that the enter is pressed and the next line is reached. And now I'm on the next line and I can type something else and I can see how to complete files dot lines. And now I can type a path and you can see that automatically the import is done. So this is the JShell in NetBeans with all the nice features that NetBeans provides, like code completion, for example, and documentation, and direct integration of the JShell with the output in the output window, working inside NetBeans IDE 8.2. The question is, of course, how is this possible? Here I am at a very specific URL, deadlock.netbeans.org slash job slash prototypes hyphen repo nine. And here we have a prototype of the support that NetBeans will have in the future once Java 9 is released. What you see here are a number of NVM files. So there is already support for JShell available via a variety of NetBeans modules. And the JShell functionality is inside of these NVM files. Once there is a release of NetBeans that works with Java 9, JShell will be picked up from Java 9. However, in this prototype build, JShell is inside these NBM files, plus the functionality that integrates JShell into NetBeans. You also see here this updates XML file. You can click on that and you can copy this URL and then go back into NetBeans. And in NetBeans, you can go to Tools and Plugins. And then you can, in the Settings tab, register that URL. So I click here Add and I type the name and I put that URL in there as I have done. And when you do that, what you will see in the available plugins tab is those two modules that you need. Now I've already installed them and I will show you what they are called. They are called Java J shell support. And there is another one. Java J shell support and NetBeans J shell library. So those you will find in the available plugins tab once you have registered that URL to that update center. And you can then install those as I have done and now they are installed. Next, a complicating uh, factor comes in when you're using Darkula. So I'm using Darkula, the Darkula look and feel. And once I had installed the JShell functionality into NetBeans IDE 8.2, I found that some of the coloring wasn't the way that I wanted it to be. So what you can do is go to Tools and Options, and you will see, so uh, by default, you will be in the General tab. If you go to Fonts and Colors, you will see in the drop-down Java Shell, and you can set the coloring for the Java Shell. And what I found is that Message Text and Message Delimiter both had a white background, and I changed these to Inherited. And I also found that some of the other settings I had to change and in particular, this one, you can see here, as we select a different item, the related text is highlighted. So um, I had to change message delimiter as well to, um, to this color. When I had done that, I needed to open the output window. So window output. And so whenever I press enter in the J shell, the output appears in the output window, a slightly uncomfortable Fact is that right now you can see all this um, text, which I don't think should be there, which kind of um, is unnecessary or it's, it's interesting information. But I would prefer to have just simply the JSHOW prompt right at the top here and start using it. Um, however, um, I'm, I take the output window and I undock it. So I'm, I floated it. 
and I'll just put it over that text so it's not so annoying. And now I can, um, whenever I press enter, I will get the output from the JShow directly inside of the output window. And finally, what I can do is go to text, xrepo, and say save to class. And if I had a Java project open here, I could save my session, my JShow session, into a class in a Java project in NetBeans. And with this information, you too can integrate JShow directly into NetBeans IDE 8.2. And I am not running NetBeans IDE 8.2 on top of Java 9. That's not possible. I'm using a Java 8 release. I think I'm on Java 8 update 25. Despite that, I am using JShow directly inside NetBeans. You too can do this.